Just look at these keen details. Wow, I can't believe how cleanly we can add such incredible details to the skin. Zoom in as much as you want and you'll even see the final facial hair on women that's usually only visible with a magnifying glass. Words can't do justice to how incredible this upscaling is. I finally revealed the secret of revolutionary upscaling with Flux. Promise me if it works for you too, you're back, leave a comment, like the video and hit the share button and just copy the link. Okay, this method is being taught for the very first time and with it, you can have complete control over upscaling. You'll be able to upscale your subject without altering their face or even by tweaking their features and details if you wish. The level of detail control you'll have is unbelievable. Best of all, this upscaling is done using the original 23GB Flux model, ensuring you get the cleanest and highest quality result possible. Please make sure to set the playback quality to 1440p resolution so you can see the upscaling details clearly. This is super important because without this quality, the fine details won't be visible to you. To do that, download the workflow, which I include in the description, download it for free and import it into Comfy UI. This tutorial is divided into two parts, normal and advanced. The normal part is what you are viewing right now. But if you want to have all the details and different settings for various images and combinations of settings along with full explanations and images created with those settings, as well as different upscales and outputs you can use the second link to join my patreon page and download the file from there but with this video that you are watching now you can completely learn this magic but for more detailed tutorial you can use my advanced tutorial to do this we need a workflow which you can download from the description and once you have downloaded it, simply drag and drop it into Comfy UI. I want to use the main Flux model, which is Flux 1 Dev, that has 23GB in size. It's the highest and the best version of Flux available for local use. If you found the video helpful so far, please like the video and leave a comment for me, because my heartbeat goes faster when I notify your likes. I have already covered how to download and install Flux on your personal system in my previous videos in the channel, so you can go to the channel and watch those videos. Additionally, there are other videos where I've explained how to run this Flux in Ada step. I won't go into lengthy details here. Okay, in the load image section, I load my image. If you notice, my image size is 1342 by 768 and I want to double this size. For the prompt section, you can write the main prompt of your image here or if you don't have the prompt, you can easily ask ChatGPT to generate it for you. Or you can use the advanced version of this tutorial, which includes a workflow that has the auto-generation prompt for your image. That means when you put an image in that workflow, it automatically generates a prompt for that specific image. And you don't need to use ChatGPT or something like that to generate a prompt for your image. When your prompt is ready, just write your prompt in both of these sections. For scaling, I'm using this model because I think it maintains texture very well and takes the image out of that flat state. You can easily download it by following the link provided in the description and here go to files and versions section and download this model. After downloading, you need to go into the main Comfy UI folder, find the models folder and then upscale models and paste it here. You can see I already have it here. Then go back to the Comfy UI and press the refresh button here and then select your upscale model. The most important node we are working with in this tutorial is the Ultimate SD upscale node, where I will provide very detailed settings for this incredible upgrade. First of all, similar to version 1 of upscale with the flux that I covered in the very first video of this channel, there are two options here, tile height and tile width. Their function is essentially to render the final composition of our image, determining whether we want a seamless upscale or a segmented one. For the tutorial I'm giving you, your upscale should definitely be seamless. If you want to double the size of this image, you need to double both width and height and enter those values in these two sections. So I multiply it by 2 and hit enter. The width is 768, so I multiply it by 2 and hit enter. I'll set 
upscale by to 2 here as well. What are we doing with this? We are setting our final canvas to exactly twice the size of this image, which means its size will match exactly the numbers I calculated. Because this final size aligns with doubling the image, my upscale process will be done in a single seamless step and the image will not be divided into similar parts for upscaling. However, if I set it to 1024 by 1024, the AI will break down my image into smaller segments and the image will be divided into four or six sections with horizontal and vertical lines and each section will be upscaled separately, which I don't want. So we put exactly the same numbers here, 1344 multiplied by 2 and 768 multiplied by 2. Then hit enter. That's the first important point. Now the second point, which is actually an upgrade from the previous video, is about balancing the steps and the noise strength. In the previous tutorial, you saw that I set the denoise strength to 0.2 and used just one step, which produced high quality result. But here, we want much more details. With the help of Flux Turbo and Step LoRa, we can achieve this powerful upscale in a shorter time. In this case, I'm setting my denoise strength to 0.33. The denoise setting determines how much the image will change compared to the original. We definitely want the original image, especially if it includes a face, to have minimal changes so that the character doesn't change. For instance, imagine I created a picture of myself using my personal LoRa and now I want to upscale it without altering my face keeping the consistent character. So I set the denoise value between 0.25 and 0.33. This range ensures minimal changes to the face and I find 0.33 to be an ideal value. So I set it here. Keep in mind that balancing denoise and steps is crucial in the method I'm explaining. The higher you set the denoise, the more permission you give the AI to make changes to the image. Corresponding, you will need to increase the number of steps to give the model enough time to apply those changes. These two settings are directly related. The more you increase the denoise, the more steps you should add. At a denoise strength of 0.33, you can experiment with the steps ranging from 2 to 8. I've obtained good result with all these settings. I've included some examples in a file within the advanced version of this tutorial. You can access it by following the link in the description where you can also access these files on my Patreon page. In that file, I've generated outputs with various denoise and step settings, so you can see the differences between them. If you want to know all these settings thoroughly and accurately without having to test them yourself, you can use the advanced version of this tutorial. After downloading the main file for advanced training, you will find several folders containing images generated with various settings. The good news is that all images include their workflows and prompts. To view the workflows and detail settings, simply drag and drop any image you want into Comfy UI. All the settings will be easily accessible, allowing you to use them for your own creations. In that version, not only will I provide all of the files for you that contain folders containing different images of faces, objects, fruits, animals, and even food, but I've also fully explained every option related to Ultimate SC Upscale. Why? Because each of these options can affect your final upscale. From mode type to mask blur, type padding, same fix mode, same fix denoise, and all the other settings, whether they are toggled on or off, are explained in great detail. That advanced tutorial is much longer, where I explain every little detail about how these options impact quality and speed of your generation. Once you've mastered these settings, you'll have full control over your upscaling process. You won't don't need to pay for websites offering upscale services anymore because you'll have complete control over the upscaling process on your personal system for free and with unlimited uses. If you want minor changes in the details, you'll know exactly which settings to adjust. If you want to change a face or keep it as is, but enhance its quality, including the skin texture and other fine details, you can do it effortlessly on your own system. Don't miss out on this crucial tutorial. If you want to become a complete master of upscaling, be sure to watch the advanced guide. 
But if you're not looking for being a full master of it, this normal tutorial also is enough and has the magic of upscaling with my method too. As I mentioned earlier, if I increase the denoise value, I also need to increase the number of steps. However, the optimal range for 0.33 denoise is usually between 2 and 8 steps, which maintains most of the original features of your image while producing very high quality outputs. The more you increase the steps, the more detailed output will be. But if you go beyond a certain point, it can reduce the appeal and even deform your image. So finding the right balance is essential. You can even lower both the denoise and the steps. For example, setting it to two steps. This will increase your speed while minimizing changes to your image. This is the full explanation of the tutorial. I'm also including some upscale examples in the video which you're watching now to see how each image turned out in terms of quality. To keep the video from getting too long, I won't run the generation again here. I've already generated them and now you can see the before and after in the image provided. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next videos.